Sasha. <laughs> it's our second collaboration with the right. OMPL. I must say that uh, there is a bit of a cliche in a way about American music uh, being sometimes, as we can say in Europe, too popular. But when we dive into uh, the excellence that is an opera like Porgy and Bess by Gershwin, we can just see how deep it is, how clever it's done. And also the relation that uh, exists between Lulu, by instance, by Berg, and also uh, Porgy and Bess, like the, the lullabies are also composed the same way, with the same harmonies that are floating, you know. And I find very common roots between uh, Bernstein, Gershwin and Waxman for that, being able to speak to everybody, but also being amazingly deep and amazingly knowledgeable. Porgy and Best Fantasy for Orchestra is actually an arrangement by Alexander Courage, a wonderful um, expression of the virtuosity of the violin and all the great themes and characters from the opera Porgy and Best, which I know very, very well, very intimately. In fact, it was the very first song I ever learned was Summertime, because as a child, my, my nanny would sing me to sleep uh, with uh, Summertime as she would sing it. When I was a young teenager and studied with Bernstein, the very first piece we studied together was the serenade. I remember Lenny saying to me when I studied that he wanted a soloist to find the character of this piece, the intention, the temperament of this piece, not necessarily indulge in the, in the technical or the, the um, musical aspects of what he writes for the violin, but actually the character of what he's trying to project into the music. How do you embrace this music physically? Because it's not written for the violin in a very yeah. comfortable way. Right. I mean, my preparation to make this music was also to be able to see him uh, conducting this music. And he, you have the impression when you see Lenny conducting the serenade that he's transmitting with all his being.
and the Carmen Fantasy by Franz Waxman, one of the great composers of the 20th century, himself a, a composer of Hollywood film soundtracks. And uh, he's able to create in the virtuosity of this uh, fantasy for violin and orchestra, not only all the great themes from the opera after the themes of Bizet, but he does it on a panoramic scale, like cinema itself. En fait, c'est un très beau symbole sur ce CD qui est réuni euh, avec de la musique américaine, avec un chef américain, une violoniste suisse, euh, en orchestre national français. Et puis finalement, ça nous montre que la, la musique n'a pas de frontières et qu'un possible accord en fait, transatlantique puisse presque exister. Donc c'est une chance aussi d'avoir ce thème, bien sûr, de l'amour, qui peut être aussi universel euh, avec ce programme.